My name is Riley and I am the Children's Miracle Network Champion. I like playing baseball. Usually I play second base. I like football and I like going camping and hiking. We had our son born with what was called a hypoplastic left heart. Um, basically he was born in heart failure. At first, Sheila noticed that you know something wasn't right, but they didn't know what it was yet. They were gonna put him in the incubator, warm him up. Every time the doctor would come in, we would ask if he was getting better. Um, the, the answer you know, was consistently, no, he's not getting better. At this time, we were living in Kansas. Flight for Life came, uh, picked us up. I flew with Riley on the plane to uh, Children's Hospital. They released me the next morning, and me and my mom drove to Children's, and I actually felt better once he was at Children's because I felt like things were more under control. <laughs> and they knew what was going on and they were very com competent in what they were doing. The doctor came in, um, examined Riley. He said that the uh, left part of his heart did not develop properly and was not functioning. I knew right away, you know, after speaking with him that, uh, you know, there's a high possibility that he wouldn't make it through this all. The gravity of what was happening really didn't sink in until the doctor told me, he said, well, he said, you have three choices. He said, you can do nothing and let him go, a, a set of surgeries or have a heart transplant. The heart transplant just seemed much more viable and it seemed you know, a better way to go. But that, at that point is when it hit me, how serious this is. You know, it's a really helpless feeling, you know, seeing, seeing your son hooked to life support and, you know, being in this, uh, all of a sudden having all these tubes attached to him and just knowing, you know, there's nothing you can do. Well, that was the hard part for me, was going in there every day and just always having to be in the hospitals and not being able to take him home. My heart wasn't working, so they had to give me a new heart. The hospital had given us pagers. I had just gotten off work and the pager went off. The hospital called, um, there's a heart available and they are prepping Wiley for a surgery. You know, I definitely had the fear of, well now this is gonna be a big surgery, so there's all these risks and of course I was thinking, well maybe this is about over too. So, <clears throat> so yeah, it was, it was definitely a balancing. It's a very mixed emotion. We. Uh, you know, we know that we received a heart from a child who died. I don't even think I want to imagine what that family went through and how bad it would be to lose a child. It's an incredible gift that they gave of the son that they lost. The surgery itself was seven hours. It was a long seven hours. They came out every 15 to 30 minutes, though, the nurse did. You know, the, his transplant coordinator, Tammy, and gave us updates. I never had to think about, okay, are we at the right place? I never felt any hesitation, and that was a great relief to me not to have that on my mind, too. They came out and they said it's completed, it's done. He did very well. Um, everything, looks, everything looks good. A lot of pumps hooked up to him, a lot of tubes and wires hooked up to him. When we went in to see him, he already looked so much better. His recovery after the transplant was just awesome. All of a sudden, he was just like normal baby colored that quickly. Right immediately after this, that's the first thing we noticed. It was like, wow, he's a pink baby. <laughs> they just really know how to help children. <laughs> and they know what they need, and they know what the families need. Whatever you needed, the uh, coordinator in Children's Hospital would, would do whatever they could to meet whatever needs you had. He goes every four months for a checkup, so we knew he had a heart transplant. We just acted like it wasn't that big of a deal. <laughs> oh, he's just funny. He just comes up with lots of funny things and remarks. And like when we're eating dinner, he just is always making us laugh during dinner time, and he's just really funny. <laughs> and he has this little motion he does with it. I'm a champion. <laughs> I am a champion. He's a champion because he he keeps going. For all he's been through, you would never know it. He just goes with the flow and is easy to get along with. I think Riley's a champion because 
when he was in the hospital, he came out so healthy and so well, and there's nothing wrong with him now. So it kind of gives other kids hope who are going through this situation to be able to see a boy who went through the same situation and is just healthy and does all the activities he does with no problems. My dream for him is for him to do whatever he wants to do. The most positive thing that came out of it for us, it made us appreciate the, the, the value of life. The time we have together, the things we do together, appreciate what's been given to us.